Okay, so today we're going to go through the setup of an MLID Reach RS2 Plus with the 0.1 Polaris RTK network. What we have here is an MLID RS2 Plus, and so all we need to do is turn this on. If we just hit the button on the bottom and hold, we'll see the lights come up. You should have already paired your RS2 Plus with your Wi-Fi. Uh, as the rover is going to require internet so that it is able to get to the correction service. Once the LEDs are done circling, we'll know that the device has powered up and is ready to be configured. We'll want to make sure that we have the blue icon here indicating that it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Now we're going to show you how to use the MLID Flow application with the Polaris RTK network so that you can get RTK corrections to your MLID Reach RS2+. Start by opening the MLID Flow application and then connect to the device. You'll usually have the device automatically connect. And then once you're there, we're going to set up the corrections. So to do that, we click on the corrections input menu, and then we're going to hit end trip. Now under this, you're going to create a new profile we can call this profile point one. You can call it anything you like. The address is going to be polaris.point1nav.com. And then the port will be 2101. Note that if you're in Europe, you want to use the polaris-eu.point1nav.com address. For the username and password, we'll have to go to the point one website. So we can go ahead. I'm already logged in, and we can create a point one device here called MLID. If we go into our MLID device, we'll see that we have a username and password. So we can go ahead and copy that, bring it into the application here, and then do the same with the password. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and now select our mount point. You'll want the Polaris mount point, and you want to make sure that this NMEA GGA option is set to true. Hit save, and then you'll see the end trip menu shows point one, which is the corrections that we created. And then in a few seconds, you'll see it say receiving corrections. You can also notice that in the top right menu, it will say fix, indicating that the receiver has achieved an RTK fix, which is the highest degree of accuracy that the receiver is capable of. You will also notice now that your correction input says end trip. If we go back to the point one website, we'll see that the MLID device registers its position correctly in the location that we're in, indicating that our servers are also seeing the MLID device where its position is being sent. Now you know that everything is working correctly and you can continue your surveying work as you normally would.